it's been, is it 20 years that you and your wife have been together? Something like that, that's a long time. That's crazy. Uh, that, congratulations. Thank that's you. Hard, that's hard to do. But so, wait, Ooh, when, the beautiful Erin Payne when did made it up. When did y'all meet? So when I first moved to LA, she was a bartender at the Cat and the Fiddle. Okay. And when oh, I, I like it, the Cat and the Fiddle. It was a great place, yeah, the yeah. original one too on Sunset. And when I saw her, I had that like moment where I was like, oh wow, like there she is. Yeah. And she did not have the same moment. <laughs> So, and you know very quickly when somebody's not feeling it back. So I had like a, hey, what are you doing? How are you? And she's like, what do you want from the bar? Yeah. And so I started going to all her shifts. And oh I would just God. drink coffee and hang Some out. Some people call that stalking. Yeah, I stalked her. <laughs> like, 100%. I love that. Okay. And so I went there. I and you went out. and got coffee? Yeah, because. At it, a bar? Where it was an afternoon, so oh, she okay. was a day bartender. You, she would have been frowned upon to have like a maybe a vodka. Like. Yeah. Well, also, it's not going to work if I'm hitting on her if I'm like a drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. This is a good. This but, is a good yeah, thing. Yeah. So I sat there for all her shifts. She did not notice me. Uh, she didn't <laughs> notice I was the best there. Story. And then after about two and a half months, I finally had a moment where we talked, and yeah. I had heard everything she had said to other people, oh. so I could connect on everything. This is totally stalking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like your first date, you were like, you knew all this information. Not even the date, at the bar. She's like, how you doing? I'm like, oh, I've just been training for a 5K. She's like, I'm training for a 10K. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. And she's like, I was like, yeah, I'm just you know, thinking about getting a dog. I love rescue dogs. She's like, I have a rescue dog. I'm like, this is insane. Oh we should God. get out of here. We, we, should, we should get married. We should get married. I love that, though, that you knew what you wanted and yeah. you went for it. Yeah. That's, a, that's awesome. And 20 years, that's incredible. <laughs> Later that day, the very funny Natasha Lazaro joined the conversation, and she was quick to reveal the biggest ways her life changed in the pandemic. So you, so you're normally that just kind of well. I'm disheveled. just like I, I just started to get frustrated because I'm like, you know, everything's filtered. Ev yes, and and then during the pandemic, I just couldn't keep up. You know, it's oh. like, isn't the pandemic the time that you would have all the time in the world to clean your closet? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's here's my philosophy. Like husbands in the pandemic, like look, Jake, they all have these annoying hobbies. Like Jake is yeah. now an amateur carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> My husband is like, he, he became a DJ, a techno DJ oh, in the wait, pandemic. Wait, what? It's horrifying. My other friend is like crocheting baseball caps. Horrifying? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what women did in the pandemic? Mothers, uh, they did laundry. And cooks, like every meal. I like know. every, yes, every, and I was done. I'm over male hobbies. Make a sandwich. Okay, I get it. Look, I, I get it. it. I get he it. became a techno DJ? Well, then you marry him. No, no, no. <laughs> when I say I love, I mean, that is weird. A well, weird thing. He so already I'm... did it, and oh. then he tried to reprise it from, like, 20 years ago. Like, <laughs> glory days. <laughs> My glory days. <laughs> this is amazing. There's a show in this. Um, <laughs> I love that. So, wait, I also, you seem to collect toothbrushes, so... We just stalk you online. Okay, so, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> how many people I, live at your house? <laughs> like, I do not collect toothbrushes, but okay. So you I have do. A, <laughs> you do. I have a oh that close up. Okay, Ooh. I have a podcast with my husband. It's called the Endless Honeymoon Podcast. And now I've decided instead of getting couples therapy, I just yeah. ambush him with my issues during the taping. I love y'all. And okay, <laughs> the last thing, the last issue we had was that he just uses my toothbrush. And I'm like, that is not okay. And that he's is like, what? We're married. So I brought it to the podcast. How when does that translate? I What? We're married so I can use your toothbrush. I don't know. He's just like, would you do that? Yes. <laughs> You're married. See what I mean? It's disgusting. You don't lick someone's like... <laughs> Like plaque on their teeth. Like I just like wait, what? When well, you rinse the toothbrush afterwards, it always starts clean. Yes, but it's got it. It's like I feel like it's a very dirty part of your mouth. I just it's I'm so disgusting. not into that. What is this a man thing? Do I don't know. Well, a hundred percent of the people you didn't chime in on my Instagram, but everybody was like this. They shamed my husband so hard that he went out and bought forty toothbrushes, <laughs> and now I can't even find mine. He's just like, it's like lost. He's in the just abyss. got them everywhere. But he, there is nothing worse than like going to grab like your tooth brush and it's soaking wet. <laughs> so disgusting. Oh, it's intimate. No. <laughs> no, it's, no. Maybe like the first three months of dating. Agree, dating, agree. It changes. Like, it when you're still gross. lying and you're like, yeah, I totally am into that and you're not. Um, that's the grossest thing ever. It happened to me one time with my kid. My kid used mine and didn't know that you couldn't. I was like, 
I don't even drink after people. Like I don't like I'm. That's just gross. Like people, <laughs> I'm just like blah. Yeah. And when you when you put that wet toothbrush oh. in your mouth. I was, I literally almost vomited. I was, it was the grossest thing ever. And it's my own child. I don't, sorry, River. But like, I, sorry, yeah, River. sorry, but I don't want your nasty mouth on my toothbrush. Like, <laughs> especially a child. They never brush their teeth. They lie to you about it. And then it's like, how much plaque was on there?